go to the play store search for duck station and download it while duck station is downloading we're going to download the ps1 bios from this skit up i'll leave a link in the description below download all of the three bios Now go back and open Duck Station. When you open Duck Station for the first time, you have to go through a setup wizard. Tap next. In the theme, you can choose light or dark, or you can just choose follow the system. In the GPU renderer, I like to use Vulkan. If your phone doesn't support Vulkan, you can just choose OpenGL. In the resolution scale, you can go to 1080 or maybe 1440 if your phone can handle it. More than that, I don't think it's going to be noticeable in, in such a small screen, unless you're playing on a TV or a tablet. In this pack ratio, I like to use Auto, Game Native. Emulation screen orientation if you want to use portrait and landscape or automatically. Expense to cut out area. I have no idea what this is, so I'll leave it on default. True color rendering it uses a 24 bit color instead of using dithering. It makes the, the games look better if you don't like dithering, so I'll leave it on. In the widescreen hack, I leave it off because it can be a hit or miss. Sometimes it can look good, other times can cause errors and bugs in some, in some games. PGXP geometry correction corrects some of the problems that the PS1 had with wobbling polygons. Here is a game with it turned on. And here is a game with it turned off. I leave it off because this can use a lot of GPU or CPU power and my phone is kind of weak for that. Then tap next. Here we will import the BIOS that we downloaded in the start of the tutorial. Tap on import and choose the three BIOS one by one. Here you can leave in auto detect, then tap next. And here you can add your games, your games folder or your ROMs folder. Allow DuckStation to access files then tap next and here is the the end of the setup tap finish you can then load the game and this button here at the bottom you can change from analog to the pad in the right top corner we have a pause button tap on it in here we can load states, if states, reset your console and exit game. If you tap the exit game, it will, it will go back to the games list and then you can play any other game that you want. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching and happy gaming.